For years, hillbillies drove around in their pickup truck with a rifle rack in the rear window. I'm here to tell you, you no longer have to do that. This here is the Gray Man Tactical Rifle Rack. What it does is it mounts the back of your seat and allows for ultimate configurability with mag pouches, a rifle rack here for my AR, I have med kit attached to it, and another auxiliary pouch here where you can put basically anything you want inside of it. For reference, today I'm sitting inside my F-150 crew cab truck. Uh, I have it on the back of the driver's seat for myself. The reason I have it here is a lot of times I have my daughter on the other side with her car seat and I don't want this stuff over there. And on top of that, it also takes up a little bit of your leg space. Fortunately, these trucks and the F-150s in particular have a very large crew cab. So it fits actually really, really well in this truck. But you actually, what you do is when you get the box from Gray Man Tactical, it comes with just this basically backer plate on here that you can attach any type of molly to. But, it, but what they have is they actually have a aluminum type square that goes in the back and then it backs up for these clamps, okay? For the clamps and also these G-code mag holders. With this one on here, I have it configured in this way just for now because I've kind of been working with it for the last month or so. But so far, this seems to be pretty good. I have put rifles in here to hold going back and forth to the range or if I'm having, you know, depending on what I'm doing, I'm able to throw them in here. So what I've done here is I have the G-Code Mag Caddy here, another one here. They hold your magazines nice and easy, easy to get out, easy to retrieve. And then down here, I have a med kit, tourniquet type stuff like that in there, hyphen chest seal, and then the auxiliary pouch. And then with these rubber straps, these hold your rifle. I'll actually show you is that they hold the rifle really, really well. And you can see that it's not going to come out of there. Like, yeah, you see my muzzle slightly resting on the ground. It's just because I kind of generally like to have my seat back a little bit more for more room but it really fits really, really well. And it's very, very secure. I've ridden on our dirt roads here in Southeastern Ohio, no issues with it bouncing around or falling out or anything like that. The rifle itself is secure and it doesn't flop around inside the mount. So it's not gonna be banging around and hitting things. What I really, really like about this system is it was really, really easy to set up. No issues whatsoever put it together. Yeah, it came with instructions, but really I was able to do this and set this up in my truck configure all of this, set it up in the truck in 30 minutes. Uh, and I, again, I didn't look at the instructions, I'll be honest. And I really didn't have any issues. And that's what's nice about it. The old school rifle racks, like you would see, you know, your average hillbilly put it in the back window. I know I had one once upon a time in an S10. They were crappy. They, you could place your rifle in there, but chances are if you hit some bumps and stuff like that, it would fall out. With this one, that will not happen. They have so many different models that can hold different types of rifles. Again, this one's Ford AR, so therefore on the back here, it actually holds your buffer tube. And then down here for your handguard, but they have different types of models with different cups also down here at the bottom for your muzzle if you want it. And then they also even have one that's very, very similar that you can mount your bow. Now what I'll get into that is that I'm actually able to also mount my prime uh, compound bow in here and it holds it really really well it fits on here with the stabilizer the quiver and everything fits on here without taking anything off and it's also secure it's keeping my bow off my back seat which before that's what I would usually do or even like let's say a rifle if I'm just running back and forth to some place I don't have any kids in the car anybody I'm worried about you know let's say getting access to the rifle I would just throw it on the back seat at times this right here though allows you not to have to do that it gives you a secure place to put the rifle in your in your truck keep it secure a couple things that I will mention, um, depending on the tint and let's say privacy glass you may have in your vehicle, you can see this setup being in here. Okay, you can see it from the outside. Mine's pretty dark, so that's a good thing. However, I wouldn't recommend leaving it in this mount, let's say overnight in an area or anything like that because it's very easy to see and somebody could clearly tell what is sitting on the back of your car. If you lock it up and it's attached with a cable lock or whatever it might be, perfect. You know, if you're somebody doing, let's say, patrol operations in an unmarked vehicle, this would be an awesome setup for the back of your seat to be able to hold your rifle, keep it close, and have easy access to it as well. And again, it's secure. But most importantly, with Great Man Tactical Gear, all of their products are 100% made in America. Assembled in America, sourced in America, everything made in America. They use G-Code equipment on here. G-Code is also made in America. And I think that's extremely important to note in a society where a lot of times you get products that are made overseas and they're taking the step above to give you American-made products at a really reasonable price. So if you guys like what you saw today, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow along next time for more possible gear reviews.